your body is under attack. All right, don't go hide under the couch. It's not safe under there either. All around your home, hiding in plain sight, are hundreds of toxic chemicals. And even with tougher regulations these days, consumer products still contain shocking amounts of toxins. So it's time to tell the truth about toxins. And to reveal some of these surprising everyday enemies, we've invited Peg Moline back, editor-in-chief of Natural Health Magazine, which provides insight into health, fitness, and everyday living. Welcome, Peg. Hi, Suzanne. Thanks for having me. We are bombarded, right? We really are. And we, like you said, we know a lot about toxins. We know a lot about BPA, which is a petroleum-based plastic uh, contaminant right. and it can cause all kinds of problems with your endocrine system it can cause cardiovascular disease it can cause all sorts of problems yeah. cancer endocrine disruptors liver inflammation all sorts of developmental problems it's just bad plastic tell problems. them where you find BPAs BPA is a lot in plastic it's mm -hmm. um, plastic baby water bottles, bottles water bottles that's why you don't want to microwave in plastic that's why you want to stay away from cling wrap anything that has a soft plastic, a clear plastic, it's going to get into that water, it gets into your system. Well, cling wrap, um, can you use cling wrap to put over the bowl in the refrigerator or is something going to leach out? You really Even don't. if it's not touching the food? If it's not touching the food, you're going to be okay as long as you don't set your uh, pizza box on top of right. it. Here's the other thing about BPA and other, all of these grease lining, grease resistant coatings, microwave popcorn bag, oh. the pizza box, oh. um, the cling wrap, it's leaching box. into the food that, and then you eat it. Now, if you have cling wrap, something comes in cling wrap, you might want to just slice a little layer off of it so you're not ingesting it. The receipts that you just paid for. Receipts. They've been found to have these? as much as a thousand times more BPA than you'd get from canned food, canned food liners, plastic bottles. If you do come in contact, make sure you wash your hands really quickly because this stuff can can sink into your skin and then get too deep and get into your bloodstream. New car smells. Uh, yes, the new car smell. We all love that I new love car smell. It. I know, we, we really do. What it is is a bouquet of flame retardants, plasticizers, oh. all sorts of heavy metals that are off-gassing from the steering wheel, the armrest, the whole car. So you don't want that new car smell. But there are things you can do. First of all, always vacuum vacuum a lot just not just to get it clean but it will it really will get rid of that toxic dust that just settles in your carpets and on the seats when you go into the car open up the windows and doors for a few minutes maybe mm -hmm. five minutes before you actually get in and drive then when you drive you close the windows turn on the ac but without the intake from the outdoors so that you don't get the engine and roadway pollutants and then you're not so, and you also want to keep your car cool because as you know, what we know about microwaves, anything that heats up the plastic or the, the contaminants, it leaches even more, it gets, gets into the air. I hear our couches are making us the sick? The couches are making you not only unfit, but unhealthy. Um, most furniture is made with chemicals that can um, off gas into the air. It can cause liver inflammation, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, all of these problems, again, by the flame retardants that are used. Even your TV screen, your computer screen, the carpet padding, all of them can off-gas. Um, and you might not want to change your furniture. You might not want to get all new furniture, but you should cover it up, vacuum around it as much as you can. You can't be perfect all of the time, but you can take precautions that right. really make a big difference. Also, particle board. You know, a lot yes, of the things are yes. particle boards. It is glued with a formaldehyde-based glue, and formaldehyde can cause all sorts of nerve damage, brain damage, uh, a lot of problems with formaldehyde as well. And formaldehyde's in um, uh, carpet too, isn't it? It the is, glue? yeah. Anything that has glue, it might be formaldehyde-based, yes. Here's the good news. If mm -hmm. you make some changes, like not getting cans with BPA in them, not using personal care pro products with phthalates, there's a study that showed that you do that for three days, eat fresh whole foods, don't use things that have phthalates in it and, and other chemicals. You reduce your BPA by 66% in just three days and your phthalate levels by 56% in just three days. So you can do it and it makes a big difference just making small changes. You don't have to do everything. You can go a little bit green and it makes a huge difference. And, and houseplants? 
House plants, the great thing about house plants is that they can take the toxins out of the air. Uh, the pothos, uh, the peace lily, rubber plant, uh, English ivy, they absorb the toxins and they can make your house healthier. You are doing such good work with your magazine. I can see as editor you have this passion and also you're very, very knowledgeable about this. Solutions, um, you can go to um, your magazine or your website. What is the... Uh... The website is naturalhealthmag.com and Natural Health is sold on newsstands, in bookstores, many grocery stores carry it or you can subscribe. Which is always it's a great. fascinating magazine, and Thank it's you. filled with the kind of information that I like. Uh, to, it's unfiltered and tells you the truth. Thanks so much for coming. We'll be back.